hi guys we are shishira and navneet welcome back to another vlog today also we are in abu dhabi but interestingly today is a flying day for us so it's also our second come last day in the uae right now we are on our way to masjid mall uh, which is about two and a half kilometers away we have to catch the local bus first so to catch the local bus first we have to walk about 500 to 600 meters and yeah. hopefully we get the bus because the buses are really rare in this part Bulk. of abu dhabi yeah and once we get to the mall we have to switch over to the airport line and then about an hour or so to the airport so once we get to know what time the airport bus comes our plan is to sit and have a nice dinner there because we can't afford airport food yeah in this video, we're going to also look at the experience of flying with Viz Air. Uh, it's the first time we're ever flying Viz Air and Viz Air is one of these ultra low cost carriers uh, which operates in both Europe and the Middle East. They still don't operate in India, but uh, we did hear that it's most likely going to come. Uh, but essentially, this airline offers very incredibly cheap fares. Like one of the examples that we know of, uh, like we saw a flight from UAE to Italy for like three and a half thousand rupees. Ah, sorry, we have switched sides now. So Viz Air operates very cheap flights uh, from the Middle East to Europe and uh, to a few other destinations in Central Asia as well. So we found this ticket to uh, Samarkand, Uzbekistan for about three and a half thousand rupees. But that fare doesn't allow for even the baggage you take along with you. So carry on baggage that you put overhead. So you still have to pay for that. Found out a little odd, but then we went ahead and bought that additional add-on. So we'll explain more about this experience as we get to the airport. Our bus is coming. We don't have to walk. Okay, let's go. Off the bus, and now we're going to the mall. So we came to Masjid Mall and we went to the reception to ask about the timing of the airport bus. Once we got to know that information, we asked her where can we find cheap food and she suggested this shop in the basement of the mall. It's a small tea shop run by a Kerala person. So what is fun is uh, the lady we spoke to was a Filipino and I think as soon as we said we want like a nice, like we want something nice but we want it cheap. She said, forget the food court, just go downstairs. So it just goes to show that people, you know, people from Asia definitely get each other. And it's really nice. And now we have ordered a falafel sandwich and I am thinking whether should I order my tea or not. Should I? No? So what did you get, Shish? We got a falafel sandwich, but it looks like a roll. Maybe I should just cut it and eat. Okay. Opening up. So the spot where we have sat is right near the door. So every time somebody walks past it, a cool breeze blows and it's so nice. Lick it, lick it all from the paper, my boy. Okay, let's go for it. Kerala parota falafel. Fresh falafel, juicy hummus and some mayo, spicy. Now meat loves falafel. We just had our dinner, the falafel sandwich was amazing and after that uh, Namneet went to the Lulu mall and he picked up some biscuits for the flight. He says he's going to get hungry on the flight. So it's not, now... It's not really for me. Okay, Somebody else gets about really it. hungry and angry and violent. Let's see about that. Anyways, now we are at the bus stop right opposite to the Masyad mall waiting for the airport bus to come. So we are on the bus now and we have to wait for like over an hour. Uh, it's 20 minutes behind schedule so it's not on time at all. However, same card worked. Uh, and, and I still balance on my card. Yay. So it will take about 30 33 minutes to go to Yeah. So we will catch you there next. Enjoy the bus ride right now. Now come to the airport. This is Terminal 1. This is where Vizair flies out from. 
the bus kept going round and round and round. I was wondering when it was stopping. A new country for me. But not for me. Yeah, let's do this. So well, we are in front of the Viz Air baggage uh, measuring device. So this one says that you get one bag here of this size and one of this. Basically, this is the regular carry-on that goes overhead. And this is the one that goes under the seat. So if you have a bag of this size, you are still allowed to carry 20 kgs of weight. But unfortunately, our bag sizes are big, so we have to go for the so the, the regular ticket includes only this much, which is basically this backpack that I'm holding. Probably this can go. If you have a similar sized one, but it's still uh, big enough to hold about 10 kgs, it's still allowed. So lately on Amazon, people have been selling a lot of the bags which can carry 10 kgs, but are only about this big. So that probably is worth upgrading to next time. You should be careful when so you're you want to put it in. This one. So this bag fits perfectly inside. We got the boarding pass. Just made it past immigration and we're inside the Abu Dhabi International Airport. So this is Terminal 1. Looks pretty cool. Look at that. Everything looks uh, gold themed and everything. We're still very sleepy because it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. And surprisingly, Namit has a lot more energy than me now. That's on like me. That's on like her. So we are right now inside Terminal 1. We've just finished the check-in. It looks so cool. Look at that, the Golden Dome. <laughs> yeah. So we just thought we'll give you a quick update on what it's been like to uh, do the check-in with Viz Air. We're flying with Viz Air for the first time from here. Uh, that is Abu Dhabi to Samarkand, Uzbekistan. So Viz Air was offering incredibly cheap flights for just around three and a half thousand rupees. Uh, but there was a catch. For three and a half thousand, they were only giving us an option to have storage under the seat. Uh, if you wanted to carry a bag like this, which is like 55 uh, centimeters or more, it needs to go up on top. Um, those bags need to be paid for separately. So it's almost like even though you're flying with very limited weight and everything is just carry on, you still have to pay an additional fee. So while booking the ticket itself, we saw this cheapest option and then one which is just about that called priority. This priority ticket gives us two benefits. One is a free check-in at the airport, which otherwise they charge for. The second one is a free carry-on baggage, which you can place on top in your aeroplane. Yeah. So this is in addition to what you can keep under the seat. So the, the trick here is... Under the seat, you can keep any bag which is about this big. It's okay even if it's 10 kgs. It has to be small. The regular sized travel backpacks, which is like 55 centimeters mm. or less, that can only go on top and that they charge for. So any usual traveler who is used to flying other airlines will find it so surprising that they are asking to pay another fee. Yeah. But when you buy the priority ticket, you also get check-in baggage free. So if you want, you can check in another 20 kgs, just like, you know, the usual uh, flying. However, we have always traveled like this, so we don't need to check anything in. So also while we were checking in, we asked her if our backpacks can fit below the seat, she told yes. So maybe so, we have to just yeah. see it for ourselves in the aeroplane. If that happens, then we probably can then only buy the cheapest ticket and we won't need anything more. Also, a uh, few other benefits of bu uh, buying priority, you get priority check-in. You also get to choose your seats up front. You don't need to wait for them to allot it. And that's usually very messed up. So uh, we conveniently <coughs> chose two window seats. Even yeah, though we are a little Two far different away. rows. <laughs> Actually, no, you're, we're just in front of each other. Ah, okay. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to tell you about Wiz Air is, uh, we also bought this Wiz Club membership, which if you use Wiz Air for at least four times in a year, uh, the membership fee can be recovered. Uh, it's about 40 euros or so. And if we use this uh, membership, you get like a, a 5 to 10 euro discount each time you buy a ticket. So over four trips, Shishira and I think we can recover it. And we assume that maybe we will fly four times in a year starting now yeah. uh, using this airline. So if that works, then we can recover that cost. While checking in, we also learned another thing. 
Viz Air requires that you have a return flight ticket back to your home country, India, because they see a lot of fraud, especially while, uh, you know, South Asians tend to fly in this region. Uh, we had our multiple entry UAE visa as well as our Uzbekistan visa as well as our onward journey plan. We didn't have a flight ticket back to India, but we were able to provide comfort using these documents that we had, which meant that we could come back uh, to UAE. We were legally allowed to enter. So with that comfort, they sort of uh, also verified our passport to see how much we have traveled. And then when we asked them, they said, yeah, it's because, uh, you know, it's our procedure. It's a low cost airline. We take the responsibility of flying a passenger to a new country. And if that country doesn't allow them, then there will be a problem. Then this airline has to spend money and bring people back. And then what happens in UAE? Will UAE allow them back in or not? So this becomes a complication. That's why on the Internet, you see so many confusing things about Wizair. But it seems pretty straightforward. Even in Southeast Asia, we were asked similar questions by a lot of airlines. So, yeah, that's about it. So this has been our Wizair experience so far. Now we'll show you the rest when we get on the flight. What's up, Shish? Going to a new country. from Uzbekistan. You just landed. Okay, my friends. Are we talking? It's loud, isn't it? Push, push loud, push far. And... Somebody is just waving at us. Azaz? I don't know, he just crammed. Yeah. So...